Going into this, I thought this was based on real events and a real killer. But I did some digging and it's not really. Duncan Skiles based this on a real guy, sure. But then sort of just made up new characters and a new story around it. So it's essentially fiction. But what made me look it up was that the details in this movie seemed pretty legit. I mean, it seemed like he'd really done his homework and incorporated a lot of stuff from real events. So that part of the movie they nailed. He felt like a legit, real serial killer. But the part they didn't nail, well, I probably shouldn't phrase it like that. That's unfair. Here's the thing. I've always had an issue with movies and TV shows where kids, or in this case teens, solve crimes and play detective. If it's a silly kids movie, sure, I'm fine with it. But if it's supposed to be a serious movie for adults that's supposed to depict real life and tries to convince you that it's really happening or could potentially happen, I have a problem with it. I just don't buy it. Because, well, in real life, they would just tell someone. Their parents, a teacher, the cops, or they'd just keep it to themselves and not dig any deeper. But they wouldn't go out and try to figure out everything on their own. They just wouldn't. So there's the disconnect for me with movies like this. That being said, some movies handle it better than others. And this one handled it about as well as you could. It definitely didn't ruin the movie for me. But I do have that negative bias here. In fact, I ended up enjoying the movie quite a bit. But it did undermine the series seriousness and the authenticity of the actual killer a little bit. But the movie also threw a bit of a curveball there, about halfway through. Now the first half is pretty much a straight up mystery and we follow this kid who for various reasons gets involved with this girl who's obsessed with the so-called Clovich killer. And together they start trying to figure out who it could be and why he stopped killing. So that's the first half. Then the movie does something a little bit less conventional. It shifts perspective to another character and completely shifts tone too. Up until that point it had this kind of light-hearted but still kind of serious tone. It's essentially been a drama with some comedic elements but then it shifts into this this really darkly comedic tone for maybe 15 minutes or so and I loved it. Easily my favorite sequence in the whole movie. It was great. And at that point I figured that was gonna be the movie from there on out. But no, then it shifts again. And I like what they did with that too. You get different perspectives on the same events. That was pretty interesting. So the movie kind of reveals its cards one at a time, keeps it engaging and then sort of brings it all together. So I really liked how they structured this thing. It's a bit different, but well done. And then we get to the end. Eh, not a huge fan of it. I mean, it works, but it just felt too unrealistic. There's some real problems with that part of the movie, character motivation wise, and just as far as keeping it plausible goes. But up until that point, I liked the movie quite a bit. It's pretty good. And from a technical perspective, it's pretty solid too. The direction is good. Charlie Plummer, the main kid, who I thought was kind of fine in Lean on Pete, is fine here too. The girl, Madison Beatty, is really good. She's just a natural. I mean, her performance felt completely effortless. Loved it. The guy playing the killer is pretty great. Appropriately intense and dynamic. But to me, the editing shines. Or how they put the whole movie together. From a narrative perspective. That could have actually been the right too. But whoever's responsible, kudos. Loved how that was done. And yeah, overall I enjoyed this movie. The end brought it down a notch for me, but it was still good. So would I recommend it? Sure. It's a fine little serial killer mystery thriller thing. So check it out. Or don't. I'm not your dad.